Hey, how's it going? Good, how you doing today? What do we got? I've got a letter. Okay. And I think that this signature is Winston Churchill. Okay. We will never surrender. It's Winston Churchill quote. I decided to come to the pawn shop today to sell my Winston Churchill letter. The reason I'd like to sell this letter is so I can make some quick money to go have some fun in Las Vegas. I'd like to sell the letter for 5,000. The least I think I'll take is 2,000. Uh, so where did you get this? I bought a desk at an estate sale and it was in an envelope taped underneath a drawer. That's pretty amazing. Uh, thank you for your letter of November 3rd. General Mark Clark has already sent me a copy of his book, Calculated Risk. I hope you will forgive me, but I do not feel I can write a foreword as you suggest. In this, I hope you will excuse and understand me. Yours sincerely, Winston Churchill. That's a classy way to turn somebody down. I know you wouldn't do it that way. Not at all. <laughs> Winston Churchill was one of the toughest leaders of the 20th century, and in his Never Surrender speech, he basically told Hitler, go f yourself. All right, it's definitely done with the typewriter. It's not done with the computer. You can tell that by the spacing of the letters. Earlier typewriters, there was just one space for each letter. Modern computers, what happens is, is they will space them proportionately to the letter size. A good example is right where it says addition right there. Mm -hmm. See small gaps in between the Ds, a large gap in between the I? That's not proportioned. Uh, this would be really great if it's real. I really love the guy. You know, the guy drank a quart of whiskey a day, and sometimes as many as 20 cigars, and he's still considered like one of the greatest leaders of the 20th century. So that's gotta be worth some money then. Uh, a little bit of knowledge is a dangerous thing. Everything looks good to me, but then again, I could be wrong. I'm always on the lookout for anything from famous World War II leaders. And if this document is legit, I'll have no problem selling it to a collector, but I have to be sure. Let me get the thing looked at by somebody who does know, and then we'll talk money. Sure. All right? Sure. I'll give you a call. I think the letter looks real. I'm looking forward to having an expert take a look at it. Hey, Dana, how you doing? Corey, how are you? All right. Nice to see you. Is uh, this the uh, item that you have for me to that look at? That is the item. I'm Dana, president of Early American History Auctions. So, Rick, what are your uh, concerns regarding this uh, letter? Is it real? Okay. That's a very <laughs> good concern. What's it worth? Well, this letter is really cool because it's uh, talking about another military man, General Mark Clark, the youngest uh, major general in World War II, and apparently he had written a book, Calculated Risk. This indicates that he's asking Winston Churchill to write an introduction for uh, that book, and unfortunately, they're being turned down. The uh, watermark in the paper is a high-quality British paper. It appears to be on Winston Churchill's personal stationery. So do you think it's real? Well, I'll take a little closer look at the uh, uh, signature. It's a nice flowing signature. There's no real hesitation. It's not auto pen. So it looks like you have a real autograph signature here. Good man. Nice letter. OK, question two. What do you think that, that would go for? I think this letter would easily bring in $1,500 to $2,000, maybe a little bit more Okay. because of the uh, content. Thanks a lot, Dana. I really appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. So how much do you want for it? Well, he said 1500 right? He said 1500 to 2000 which means in an auction it could go from on a really, really bad day, 1000 bucks. On a really, really good day, 2500 bucks. So I'm thinking $700 is a fair price. Or you can take all the risk and maybe get paid a year from now. OK, uh, how about 900 um, I'll meet you in the middle. So you're talking 800 bucks? 800 bucks, cash, you get paid. Okay, 800. All right, it's a deal. You wanna write them up for you? Yeah. Let's go do some paperwork, buddy. Okay. I think 800 is enough to get a good start in Vegas. I'll probably need some more, but 800 is a good start. <laughs>